Good evening guys or give a uh, good afternoon. I hope everyone is doing great. So what's really happening on the market guys? Uh, what's really happening on the market? Uh, we don't really have much. What was happening is, uh, if you still remember, yesterday we did talk about Canada. Uh, we did talk about Canada uh, that we have actually uh, interest rates and indeed they did cut the rates with 25 uh, not 25 with 50 basis points so that's why we see 3.75 uh, right so which means they actually did cut their rates so we'll see uh, Canada actually selling but it's not really surprising because it's just the same as estimate so tomorrow uh, we're going to have PMIs for Europe GBP and US on Friday we have re uh, retail sales for Canada you see so now we can actually say we can go straight to the charts uh, but if you are new, uh, not uh, if you are new to this channel sorry don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends oh before maybe we continue guys i thought maybe i should go through this with you so there is um yeah uh, actually fsca uh, financial service uh, conduct and stuff like that for South Africa actually so what is really happening is for people who actually send the signals they should have a license to do so you see so at the moment which means for me for me to comply I will have to hold uh, whatever that I was doing with the signals and then I will try to do the right thing and start to apply to the relevant uh, license that i need to have and the process it actually takes four to four to almost three weeks uh, three three months actually four weeks to to i think they say 12 months 12 weeks which i think is almost three months so uh, for us to be safe actually for me to be safer what i'm going to do is I'm going to try to follow the process and do whatever that it's necessary for me to do. And during that time, obviously, it means I won't be giving anyone signals. But yes, I will be actually updating you uh, so that you can see what's really happening. So I think this actually will help. Uh, actually, it's where we're going to reach a point where we can say you can have a mentorship. With this mentorship, it's actually where you learn and you create your own signal so you don't really have to depend on anyone you see people they've, they've been talking about learning 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 and people they don't really uh, want to learn and now when we have a situation where maybe it's going to be strict uh, very strict uh, to get signals uh, or signal providers it's gonna be problem for people who just uh, who were just relying on on those uh, people you see so what i'm offering here is you can actually learn we have like a resources or a database for our mentorship so you don't really have to meet with me every day so you can just scan that qr code talk to me it's not signals it's actually learning how to trade uh, for yourself you see but if you are if you are already part of our team, if you are part of our team, like you are already uh, in our signals and stuff like that, you can join our team for only $49. You can join our mentorship, which means you will get the, 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 the data for everything. Then you can learn at your own time because I will be already we have a, a, a pre-recorded videos about entries about the structures about uh, risk management about mindsets trading psychology all that so what you do is pay once then you're done you get everything and you learn at your own time so that you can actually create your own signals so 49 dollars is for people who are already in my team if you are not in my team uh, if you are not part of any signals and stuff, it means you are going to pay 149 because that is information that is going to help you to create those signals. So, yes, now then you, I think 
we actually as tried to, to to go through the issue so at the moment i think maybe for whoever who's going to watch this you understand that we don't really have to just try to cut corners we have to do the right thing you see so now when we jump on the market we can easily see that you know what dollar index dollar index it's actually going back again where it was you can see we had a previous nice bullish move then after that, we have a very proper reversal. Now it seems like the market is going back. Now we reached an area or a zone where I think maybe the market might find in a, a resistant, where the market actually broke out. I think maybe this area might resist and maybe we will see the market uh, reversing. It's, that is possible. But if this area is not going to hold longer or it's not going to be that stronger, as we can see that the dollar is quite stronger, I think it's where we're going to see the market break and uh, the market breaking out. But this type of a push, guys, is not really good at all because this actually it shows us that uh, the dollar is still uh, quite stronger and we might see higher rates trying to bounce back or let's say higher inflation. Inflation means prices, consumer prices. And this will mean a delay maybe in rates cuts next month. And this is not going to be good for the stock markets. But at the moment, the stock markets are performing very well. But what I see here, if the market doesn't really reverse around this level, it's not really good. Especially when they started cutting the rates at once. Now we thought maybe they were going to continue cutting, but it seems like not so fast. You see, so I think uh, we done on dollar index. So now let's go straight to GBP, GBP USD. So on the GBP USD, you can easily see that you know what the market still on that nice uptrend. But where we are, we're reaching the lowest support area, the one that we already had for a quite long now. The market is going towards that as the dollar is quite stronger. So we will see if maybe the market is going to respect this support area and bounce back or maybe the market might break. If the market breaks out of that, it means that we are ready to do what? To sell. But if the market doesn't really break out, there is a chance for the market to do what? To bounce back and continue with this type of an uptrend. I hope that makes sense. So let's push to the next one, which is gold. Gold seems to be going down. We saw that uh, dollar index, it, it was quite stronger, so which means uh, obviously one way or another, uh, dollar, I saw the gold, it was going to actually take a hit from that. So now we, uh, as you can see that we are on gold, we come in from a very nice proper uptrend. And where we are, it seems like the market is trying to reverse. But it's not really surprising. We saw that the market is doing what? The market has been going up for quite some time. So now, which means that it's a potential resistance. That was actually we placed it here and the market broke out. Now we're going to place it here. So this shows us that the market actually is trying to go lower. Maybe around this area, we might find that resistance, sorry, that support. Or maybe the market might go lower up to 2680 before we see a very nice push it's possible but i think it's way much better for us to relax because the market has been buying for quite some time just look at this the market has been going up for quite some time so one way or another we need a nice reversal before going up yes there is a chance that if the market that is really find a stronger support here we might see a breakout going even higher i hope maybe that makes sense i hope that makes sense so let's push to the next one uh, on gold let's just wait for the uh, for gold to do its thing uh, now let's see what can we get here what can we get on us 30 i thought maybe us 30 was going to go even higher we had a buy pending order and i think we smashed it yesterday so that was actually well, yesterday when the market was here the market reached a very nice level it was just scalping but i like where we are because it's actually 
our support area, our stronger support. So I think maybe the market might start to do it, might start to respect that. You can see that we are coming uh, from this nice bullish move. So this area was our still our support area. So now the question is, will uh, US state respect this level and push to the higher side? Or maybe we will see a breakout. It's up to the market. It's up to the market. So at the moment, uh, there is nothing we can do. We just have to wait and see. But you have to have a notification. This one, the market already broke out. So which means the last hope is going to be here. Once the market breaks this level, obviously, it will mean that we are going to see that aggressive uh, sell. You see? So what you can do here, you can just place a very nice notification around this level. So once the market uh, tries to bounce back, once the market tries to bounce back, your order will be ready. The order will be, uh, so, sorry, your notification will be ready. Then you're not going to miss anything. So that you don't really just sit uh, on your chart the whole day. So notification can actually work uh, very nice, you see. So now we are on a NASDAQ. What's really happening on NASDAQ? I think NASDAQ might sell, guys. I'm, I'm not saying it's going to sell. I just think we might see an aggressive reversal. The market has been struggling here. If maybe the market doesn't sell, as you can see that we are on this nice uptrend, market has been going up for quite some time. You can see that. So what I'm expecting here is I think the market might try to break here and start to go even lower. There is that possibility, but not so fast, especially when the market is still around the support area. What do we do? We buy. I send this. It's actually a scalping. So I think I hope my people are eating there. We've been actually scalping gold for, for quite some time now. So I'm expecting to see maybe... Uh, the market just to play around, but be extra careful around this level. If the market doesn't really hold nicely here, we might see a breakout to the lowest side. But if things go, uh, are going to go nice, obviously this is a proper consolidation up to a point where we will see the market start to go higher. I hope this makes sense. So for those who want to learn uh, from me, guys, uh, we have package for you. Uh, we have pre-recorded mentorship that you can just watch at your own time. And along the way, we will actually have our live session one-on-one -on -one, where I will actually try to assist you uh, to a point where you can get it right so that you can create your own signals, you see, as we no longer give signals at the moment. So, yeah, let's push straight to oil so that we can call it a day. Let's see. Let's see what's really happening. U.S. oil has been playing games, guys. U.S. oil has been playing games. It's been playing games. So what's really happening is we're coming from a proper a downtrend structure. We had this problem here with a breakout. But at the moment, we see something like that. But it seems like the market is also struggling around this level. So we, ha we have to wait and see if maybe the market continues to go higher. Or maybe the market will respect this resistant and continue going uh, lower so it's up to the market so we need to relax on this one you see there is BRICS meeting and stuff uh, those there is countries with a lot uh, that produces let's say OPEC countries those who uh, actually produce oil so some stuff might happen here so be extra careful for those uh, if you are not really aware of that so anyways thank you very much don't forget to smash that subscribe button like, share with your friends. Bye.